Hi guys, it's Emily the Relentless Dreamer. How are you? Are you well? I really hope so. Hello to each and every one of you. I send my love. I've now started this video three times because I forgot to turn my mic on, Dad. I'm sorry. I'm in such a state of disbelief that I managed to do this. Let's start this again. Today, I'm back with another video. <laughs> and this time, it is not contacts that we are reviewing. No, no, no. Today, we are reviewing something different. Something I have done before, but also with its own little twist. Today, we are doing a wig from Lily Hair, and I'm very keen because this wig, unlike all the other wigs that I have tried from other brands and bought for myself, etc., 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 this wig is a pixie cut style. This wig is a short wig. All the other wigs that I have tried have been long, and so I'm really happy that I have the opportunity to try something different and share it with you. So, this is why. I already have a little bit of um, crazy wig hair going on. So today, the beautiful website Lily Hair has given me a wig to try and I am here to share my experience with you, even though I've kind of already started this experience. I do have the footage, so I'm not sure maybe I'll do some voiceover. We shall see. Just to recap, but depending what I decide to voiceover and what I don't, it comes in a beautiful box. And I was very excited to open my package and see this absolutely stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, ombre box it's like it's not like a bright pink bright blue baby pink baby blue it's like a dusty version of both of those things our first impressions are positive these are from my first take where i saw the presentation of the unboxing for the first time i just wanted to reiterate how good a job they did i mean look at this box it could not be packaged more perfectly so we've got a beautiful shiny super metallic pink brush which I really like and I really like seeing it in the viewfinder. I think it's, I think it's cool. This is the thing that stood out to me the most um, and I was really super impressed when I opened up the box to find that the wig came in one of these. It's like a silky, satiny, soft, oh, alliteration. It's like this beautiful, very, very soft baby pink. It has the logo on the front, Lily Hair, and it says, we live only to discover beauty or else is a form of waiting. And it's got that all printed in gold down there and the inside is white. It's like double. Either way, it is so luxe and I love it. A very good first impression. And you know what else we have? We have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wig. I'm very impressed with this wig. It is beautiful and soft. It doesn't have, it doesn't have like a single, this like my whole first filming, trying on everything. It does not have a single hair that has come loose. The only thing that's come loose, uh, little, almost this looks like stray hairs that have been cut. Like it doesn't look like a whole hair detaching from the root. It looks like the wig has been styled and that's just a little bit of trimmings, I guess, that have just been caught. Like, you know, if you go get your hair cut, I'm sure you will still find little bits of hair onto your ship. As I said, it's really short and I like it, but I'm really, really enjoying the color. I'm trying to get some of that natural light in there so you can see. It's almost like a beautiful, I think Auburn's the word. It's got a really warm caramelly tint to the dark brown and I love that. It makes me very happy. It's full of lots of different fibers that is so good i feel like it goes a really long way in making a wig look natural and like it's just grown from your head <laughs> talking about growing from your head this wig also has a scalp which kind of sounds funny to say i don't know why i think that word is funny so it doesn't have any lace i know i've tried on many lace front wigs before in this kind of style you don't need lace because it's got a very strong fringe as you can see the area where it's parted it has like this natural looking scalp which will blend in with like your skin I guess and the rest of the cap is wefted so this is a um a medical grade PU and silicone strip so that sits on the front of the wig which helps it sit I guess against your skin and stay really secure um it's it's non-toxic non-slip and hypoallergenic um so even if you've got sensitive skin you don't need to worry about that sitting against your skin um, when I wore it earlier, it was super comfortable. <laughs> so as I said, the rest of the wig is wefted. We do have this little patch down the bottom, which you can um, use to tighten depending on the side of your head. So that is always a really good option. Um, my head isn't the biggest, so I often have to tighten my wig. It's not the smallest, but it's, you know, it adds that, I guess, customizability. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my head. Why wait any longer? I'm so glad my hair is short. I am so hungry it's ridiculous i 
All right, this is the wig. Straight pulled onto my head without any excessive styling. Tuck it behind my ears. So here we have our cute little pixie auburn wig moment, which I'm very happy about. Straight up, it's really comfortable on my head. Um, the hair, like though it sits very close like to my eyes, it doesn't itch, which is a good thing. It doesn't have any knots as I run my fingers through. Another thing um, to mention is that I do really like how it sits around my ears as well. Not many wigs like sit around my ears in a way that works. Also something that you can find with some wigs is lots of short hairs underneath the longer hair. This wig is just what you, what you see is what you get. You're not gonna have these little tiny hairs just poking up everywhere. And I think that is a really, really big positive that I'm happy about. Cause that can really take away from the realism of the wig. I like it. I like all the different color fibers. I like how it sits. Oh, also something that earlier in my earlier adventures I did discover is this wig is very much able to be styled by heat. Um, obviously, don't use it at the same level you would use on your real hair. Don't turn the heat right up. Use a low heat, but you are able to use like a curling iron straining, straightening tongs. I find that helps with <laughs> straightening out and styling the kinks because inevitably you're gonna have kinks in your wig. That's just what happens. It's traveled a long way to get you in one position. You're gonna have to give it some time to breathe and come back to life and style, give it a bit of help, shake it out, brush it. Wish I had already done. I managed to put a, when I was straining this wig, I accidentally, I don't know how one accidentally manages to do this, but I accidentally managed to put a curl in my hair, in like the, my wig hair. Um, and I don't think I have ever managed to, to successfully put a curl in a wig. So that was a first for me and I was very shook. So side note, in case you want to know if these wigs are stylable, the answer is with heat. The answer is yes, get excited. That's always an exciting option. Another fun thing about short wigs, accessories, make it fun. I have popped in these earrings. I don't usually wear earrings, um, mostly because I don't really have any. <laughs> so I pinched these from my sister. Shit, it's a secret. I pinch these from my sister because often long earrings can get lost in um, like your long hair. So short hair is the perfect opportunity to go all out with things like accessories because it's not going to take away from your hair or your hair is not going to take away from your accessories. Also, to have a bit of extra fun. We have hats and I love wigs and hats. And I think it's a really good transition into if you're not a regular wig wearer, pop on a hat and you'll be like, you'll feel probably a lot more comfortable um, if you're having a bad wig day. They, they happen as much as any bad hair day. Pop on a hat, every, all of your problems will be solved. So, to start off with, we have the essential beanie. Just, you know, it's winter over here in Australia. It's very chilly though, today is hot and I actually am a little bit concerned that I'm gonna pass out, but we're gonna be good. Especially now that I have cut like all of my, like genuine, real, true, my Emily hair off, it gets cold, so popping on one of these bad boys. It does a lot. Also, immediately, how cute is this? I'm actually obsessed. This is like my favorite look ever. I really love how the face is framed so nicely with this short length of hair. And something that I've never really had worn my hair like naturally is when I've had long, long pixie hair is I'm in love with this fringe. I think it is so cute. And I think it's very Alice, probably a little bit long. Next hat. Here we are another hat. I no longer have quite as many hats as I used to. I lost my fox one, which I'm very sad about. But I still have this one and so we can still get out there with some kawaii feeling this. I'm so sad that I have such a big lack in accessories because short hair, accessories, much made in heaven. Please comment down below what you would like. If you were to have short hair, go ahead and get yourself one of these wigs. How would you style? I wanna know accessories. I wanna know outfits. I wanna know styles, cosplays. Ultimately, I think you know how I feel. I love this wig. I think it is incredibly good quality. You can tell that the people who are a part of this brand love what they do and have a passion for really giving their customers the best quality. So, segue you should totally suss out their website. I will link you in the description below. Also, I have a coupon code you can use
is. It is Emily PU30. Um, so when you buy their wigs, you can get $30 off your entire order. And I think that is a pretty good deal. Also, I was going to say about this wig. We all know that everyone relates my parents to Alice Cullen. Well, lately it has been happening more and more often. Me and my mate James went to, um, went to a bar. Luckily, the state that I live in, we are in a really safe spot. And so our restrictions have lowered to allow that to happen. If I had a dollar for every time someone said that I looked like Alice, I would be, I would have multiple dollars. And then when me and James were together, because he's really tall, everyone was like, oh, you know what you guys would make? You guys would make the best Alice and Jasper cosplay. And we're like, oh my gosh, yes. So potentially I have a contact and now I have the hair potentially around the corner if it's something you guys would like to see maybe I'll even recruit James we can do a kind of a Twilight themed video because I feel like that has just been needed for ages I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um I am sorry that it is a little bit of a mess I'm gonna do my best in editing to pull it all together stay safe please stay safe take care of yourselves be be kind to yourselves it is a rough time that the whole world is in right now and I think if you're not where you're meant you think you want to be we're in a pandemic give yourself a break you deserve it and I do very much hope to see you in my next video much love much hope bye